What's up, y'all? So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this protective style. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I took my other protective style out. I left it in for like a week. But today we're going to do some braids. If you've seen the thumbnail, then it turned out good. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair. Um, as you can see, each lock in the front of my head is the start of another braid. So that's just how I kind of section my hair off and everything. Um, you always want to spray your hair with water because you want it to be moisturized versus like dry, okay? And if I sound a little weird in this video, y'all, forgive me, okay? Because some allergies, they trying to take me out, but I'm going to make it. <laughs> so here I'm just kind of defining defining um, my part the best that I can. Of course, I can't see the back, so I really just did the best that I could in the back, but the front, I tried it to make it look neater. Now, right here, I'm just sectioning off um, each braid just so that I'll know, like, you know, how many more braids I got left, and I can better plan on how I want this style to go. I do recommend pre-sectioning, pre-parting, whatever. I recommend it because it does help go a lot, lot faster when doing this hairstyle. Okay, so now on to the good stuff. What I did was my first two locks, I twisted those, flat twisted them down, and then I picked up a third lock and began to braid. Um, the reason I did this is because it provides a flatter foundation in the front. So as you can see, like literally, I just twist the first two locks of the row together. And then after I twisted those two locks together, flat twisted, um, I grabbed that third um, lock and just started to braid straight back. Now, depending on the length of your locks, it kind of depends on like if you'll be able to braid your hair. As you can see, um, a piece of my lock is sticking out. What I did was after I got done with my head, um, I just went back through and tucked the locks that tried to, you know, come out. But this is just me, you know, doing it real, real fast so y'all can go ahead and get through this video and get this style done on y'all on here, okay? I told y'all I was not going to make no long videos with these tutorials, so here y'all go. So when I got done, this is how it looked in the back. Now, this is my favorite part. I put my little puff puff ball on, honey. And yes. Now, I really ended up going to get another puff ball, um, which I will show you guys at the end of this video. But um, I just went ahead and laid my edges and oiled my scalp because, you know, we need that moisture, okay? And my hair will suck up some moisture. Do you hear me? So, I always make sure I'm spraying it with water or putting some oil on it or, you know, that's really it. <laughs> so, um, now I'm just going to put my scarf on. I love my silk scarf. Hey, y'all. So, today I had to go to the beauty supply store to get me another puff ball for the back of my head. And when I went in there, they had so much hair. They had all kind of crochet hair. I was like, dang, should I buy a ponytail already made or should I make one? Because they had so many, like, whatever you wanted to do. So, this is the new ponytail I bought next to the old one I bought, honey. And when I put the new one on, I felt like a new woman, okay? It was right, y'all. So, I ended up taking my scarf off. And as you can see, it's really cute, really laid. I love this. This is perfect if you got locks and you just want a little quick style. I hope you guys like it. 